Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition, the redo. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, we had been trying to expand our galaxy about as well as we can, and, uh, unfortunately, we had run into a bit of a snag in the form of that we have so many leviathans in our potential expanding path and uh, also some space amoeba really strong space amoebas in that direction that uh it will kind of hamper our progress uh for a little while uh, at least going this direction but we will still eventually be dealing with the problems one way or another as the Empire's advance will never cease. Abandoned thrusting. Um, phrasing. In the center of a particularly large crater on E44XI2, or X12, uh, lies a cluster of metal shapes, doubtlessly of alien origin. Science officer Muhammad Kadem was convinced that they are massive planetoid mountable that's a phrase uh, propulsion devices intended to push E44XI2 from its orbit for purposes and destinations unknown. The ISS Renard is on standby, its crew ready to begin disassembly and analysis of the alleged propulsion systems with the hopes of improving our own thruster technology. Make it so. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Yay! We unlocked it for free! Hell yeah. Alright. Gotta love that. So now we don't have to worry about Science that. Science Division Oops. reports a new breakthrough. Well, regenerator of whole tissue finished really quick. There we go. Also, I don't think I read it. A genetically altered version of the silicon-based bacteria could potentially be manipulated to regenerate non-organic materials. That'd be great. It'd be lovely. And freaking tastic, in fact. Um, when it comes to other things, what should I be doing? That is the question, isn't it? Hmm. I want to say... We should do interstellar fleet traditions just so we can get the naval logistics office and allow us to increase our uh, increase our anchorage's naval capacity increases a little more which is always very nice there we go we'll go with that inbound message traffic Ooh. united nations of earth want a defensive pact we would not want to drag your empire into a conflict, but it is clear that we would benefit from joining together against possible threats. I like that idea. Let's do it. Anomaly found. Ooh. See... <laughs> That's unfortunately named. See... <laughs> CP01758. Periodically spews an alarmingly eclectic mix of particles and radiation into the void. Weird. Well, we'll just see how that goes. System reconnaissance completed. Completing. Oh. I guess the science ship is done with its... Yeah, yeah it is. Kind of done until uh, this is taken care of. Which might be soon. Might not. Hmm. Either way, I guess really the only place is left to go... But I don't think you're taken by anything else. 
Yeah, no one else is going after it, so I guess we'll have them do this and this. And then go back to the nearest uh, starport, I guess. At least for now, that'll be the plan. Ships refitted. Oh, old with defects. I don't know how we could have gained that research option from that, but okay. Likely due to the vessel being a civilian transport, the shipboard databases were not fully scrubbed as part of the decommissioning process. So while nothing else of value was found aboard the ship, our data scientists have managed to recover partial references to unknown alien technologies. So I guess we got that off of what they already knew. Fair enough. Oh, we got quite a bit of research into it. Just we haven't finished it yet. That's fine, I guess. Nice. The fleet has been upgraded. It doesn't need to be upgraded again complete. after... Yes, it does. After the one thing that got upgraded System when I completed. sent them to get upgraded and then they actually got upgraded. Where are we currently? Right there. All right. Um... Yeah, we'll have you sit here for now. We will upgrade this into proper star base. And then you can just sit there until it's made. Yeah, that'll work. Ships refitted. Good. Okay. And we will merge the two of these. Also, what? Oh, yeah. That's right. I wanted to have this brought to uh, full reinforcement. That's right. I remember now. Wait, when did I have... I guess I have three of them now. Interesting. Didn't think that would be the case. What is this about? Sutherian Entity has declared Yon Alliance the rival. Oh, I see. Yeah, well... That's to be expected, unfortunately. Oh! Our trade treaty with the Polysimus Syndicate has timed out. Oh, so we're not getting the alloys anymore. Well, that's unfortunate. But System right now, it's not completed. that necessary. Not anymore. So. Hey! The Senate has voted on and passed the resolution buzzword standardization. Beautiful. So let's see what's uh, what else is up on the docket. The next thing, which is what the Sutherian entity has suggested. Uh, I support the concept, but did it have to be the Sutherian entity that did it? <laughs> kind of a uh, kind of a jackass. But anyway, let's look at this Guardian Angels Act. Oh yeah, that's right. I decided to abstain from this. Okay. Yeah. Just hold back on this for now. Alrighty. Hey, and we're making credits again. Nice. Didn't take that long. Illicit matter. The ISS Renard finds a disturbing tangle of technology hidden in a deep crater on the asteroid's surface. Evidently someone has, with rather 
with rather simple means, managed to stabilize a one-way wormhole. And Science Officer Muhammad Kadem quickly assesses, quickly asserts that the asteroid is the exit point. The other end opens up somewhere in uncharted space some light years away from a black hole. The small quantities of dark matter are leaking, being siphoned through the wormhole. Whoever set up this seems to have abandoned the operation. Seems to have abandoned the operation. Oh, if only I could talk, but that's pretty cool. I'll take that. That's pretty cool. All right. Population here is actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. Eventually, I'll be able to do this, but right now, I just don't have enough... Uh, enough rare crystals coming in. In fact, I don't have any at all coming in. That's something I'll eventually fix. Let's look at Dawn Light. It's not too bad. We'll leave it be for now, because it's not quite at a point where I can just start building things up willy-nilly. It'll eventually be there, but not quite. Should keep an eye on Felon Day, though. Anyway. Eventually. System reconnaissance completed. There you go. Backscattering spectro spectrometry. God damn, that's a mouthful. Okay. Backscattering spectrometry. I think I got that right. Sensors indicate the presence of valuable substances beneath Hiram 3's noxious clouds. Alright, look into it. Let's see what they got. And we'll have them go back to EM Station. Where I will then build a crew quarters. And... Let me see the surrounding area. I'll make this a trade hub. Why not? I don't see why not. Perfect. There we go. It's all good. And I just noticed the Renard is not doing anything. Uh, Duracus, go there. Do that thing. Do it for me. Um, not sure what they're doing. Oh, they're dealing with the debris and Nidum. And then they'll move over to there. That's right, I remember now. Because otherwise, if I hadn't guided them that way, it would have uh, gone through the Leviathan over there and then died. That's right, I remember now. Silly, silly, silly. Alright, then they move to there, and in fact, I might as well, this was, yeah, this was the space amoebas, that's right, and then after they're done there, I'll make them go through here, 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 apparently they can't get to here, which means there's some sort of wormhole shenanigans going on there. And, yeah, we'll call that good. That's a nice little path. That'll eventually be better. Okay. Crown Princess Catalina has leveled up. Science Division nice. reports a new breakthrough. Beautiful! Now we can exploit the resource of rare crystals. I love it. I gotta love it. Ooh! Hoo, 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 hoo. Nano Circuit Assembly. Now we can actually do that. Huh. It would be nice. <laughs> it would be nice. Uh, but right now I shouldn't be devoting that there until I actually have the crystals uh, incoming. So we'll go for improved Corvette hulls for now. All right, and I was about to say, I knew I had some just sitting there waiting to be collected, and now I can have them collected. 
Wait, what? You're kidding. You sons of bitches. You decided to pull that. You decided to pull that. You Are you for real? Are you for real right now? Oh, I am so mad at the Polysimus right now. I'm so mad at them. They shouldn't even have been able to do that. I thought we had our borders closed to them. Son of a bitch. All right. Now they've gone and pissed me off. They have gone and pissed me off in the worst possible way. That's what they've done. <laughs> All right. Well, if that's how you want to play it, There. Huh. Rock potential. Hiram 3 is exceptionally rich in minerals. Minerals that are, unfortunately, of no use to us. However, science officer Shivangi Sondharam believes the many elements in the crust of Hiram 3 can be transformed into potentially more useful forms through positron bombardment. The ISS Kuti has regret has requests requested, I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to be, that the Empire Fell and I set aside a hundred credits for the purposes of this project. Yeah, let's do it. Positron bombardment. It's in Hiram 3, which is the one there. That's the one. So we'll make you do it, and then. Survey the rest of that, and then survey that, and then we'll call that good. Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. I don't see why not. Did. Wait a minute. Did the Star Nation move their capital planet to beer? Why would they do that? That's... That's really weird. Wait. Wait a second. Do I have humans in my empire? <laughs> I do. I do have some humans in my planet. In my empire, rather. Well. Huh. Hmm. Let's have them living in decent conditions, huh? Be a little nicer to them. Um... Colonization allowed. We'll have them be in residence for now. Just for now. I don't see why not. Special project complete. Nice! The crew of the ISS Kuti are pleased to report that the experiment was a success and a significant number of dense mineral veins on Hiram 3 have been transmuted into usable resources. Excellent. Battle debris secured. Nice. B E A U T F O. The Citizens for Freedom Party. They work for equality and justice for all denizens of our empire. Okay, I see. I see what they're doing. Shivangi Sontaram. <sighs> There's that getting done. I'm trying to look for more. Hmm. 
Also, I just noticed that their ship disappeared. Which is good. Which means that's the only... That's the only one that's a problem. For now. Well... We might end up in conflict with, uh... With the Polysimus Syndicate sooner than I anticipated. But... It shouldn't be that bad. Key phrase shouldn't be that bad. Will it be that bad? Probably. Alright. All of that. Actually, you know what? Let's have... Have them work on that one. And then this one. And then go to the nearest starport after that. And then this one can work on that. And then head right on back here. After it's done. That'll work. That seems like a good use of time. System reconnaissance completed. Nice. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Beautiful. Speculative hyperlane breaching. Nice. Alright. Uh, what do I got? What should I do is probably the better question. Mm -hmm. Hyperlane breach points might be nice. We have identified the existence of points in space where a ship expends less energy to breach their way into a hyperlane. This will lead to a new generation of hyperdrives. Nice. And the hyperlane registrar. Assists friendly ships in the system with FTL travel by identifying ideal conditions for entering the hyperlanes and optimizing projected travel routes. Which is also very nice. Is also very nice indeed. Alright. Let's go for it. Why not? Fair Anomaly enough. found. Whoa. Scanning the star unveils a small object in rapid orbit. Its small size and high velocity make it difficult for our sensors to isolate. Look into it. Let's see what's up. Paragon 3, an ocean world. It's a pretty big world. I kinda wanna get that next. <laughs> I kinda wanna get it next. So. Oh! I only just realized how much influence I have. Uh, in that case, I shall have... This one working on that, and then eventually going over there. Yeah, that should work. And then I'll have this one go over there. And then come back System here. reconnaissance completed. Life signs have been detected coming from inside the atmosphere of this gas giant. Could it indicate the presence of some kind of biosphere? Interesting. Yeah, let's look into that. Jeez, I'm trying to get on the star base. That's not what I meant. I meant to have this. Not that. Not that one. I meant this one. There we go. Then come back to this one. There we go. Better. Better, 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 better. Alright. So far, so good. Oh, I only just noticed the map the Star's Edict has expired. At this point, do I really need it to go any faster? I honestly think I don't. I don't want to spend the influence on that when I could spend more influence on expanding. So I think I'm done with that for the time being. Oh. We have gotten a report from Science Officer Javier Solano. It seems that a 
ceramic container circling the star Iswick. Iswick, you, Iswick. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm going to go with Eswiuk because it's fun to say. Um, most peculiar. It should obviously not be there, yet somehow it has managed to find its way into a close orbit. A special project can be ensued to investigate the container and try to deduce how it ended up there. Conundrum worth investigating. Or I could get the easy influence now and say all questions don't have worthwhile answers. New sit rep. Oh, atmospheric ecosystem. We have discovered a thriving ecosystem in the upper atmosphere of the gas giant Nedum 6. I almost said 4, that's not correct. Nedum 6. Massive floating creatures, having evolved bodies filled with lighter than air gases, follow the wind currents and feed off the energy released by the gas giant's frequent lightning storms. These beings, in turn, support colonies of smaller animals that prey on atmospheric plankton and each other. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. There was a thing I was going to look into, but I forgot after that. Um, planets. They're fine. Or at least the planets I'm looking at are fine. Yeah, they're fine. Um, what was I going to look into? Uh, it's not quite done. Building it. Hmm. Wait, what? I'm... Oh, I see. All right. That's what it is now. That is the highest it'll go. That's what the whole thing is. I was confused on that. Now I think I understand a little better. All right. Mm, four here. So... Next 12. There we go. 15 and 20. That's fine. And then we reinforce the fleet a little further. Ha ha! And what else was I doing? I don't right recall. Hey! Some crystals off of this one as well. Uh, this frozen world here. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Construction awesome. complete. Oh, that was the thing I was going to do. Is this one. Uh, I was going to research the project and then move on to survey the rest of the planet. That's right. I remember. Now, that was the thing I was doing. And this is complete. Beautiful. The Senate floor is in session. The Galactic community is now voting on a new resolution. And the only opponent thus far is, I don't recognize that one off the top of my head. The only opponent seems to be them. Um, the Sacrosanct Themoid Conclave, that's who it is. And they're the only opponents to this measure. Hmm. System reconnaissance completed. Alrighty. Science division reports Ooh. a new breakthrough. Two things at once. Gotta love that. Just our fleet traditions. A body of knowledge regarding combat behaviors is useless without a strong code governing its use. I forgot to read that out last when I selected it. Oops. Okay. Anyway. Um... <laughs> what do I go for next? That is the question. Refit standards, which would be nice. It would make the upgrade costs and the upkeep a little less. Hmm. 
I kind of want to go with Xenobiology, though. Just because it will help in the future speed things up just a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, I'll go with that. And with improved Corvette hulls, advances in building techniques will allow for the construction of sturdier and more durable Corvettes. Let's go with... Oh, I really want to go with rail guns, but I think Starhold is probably the next thing we should definitely go for. Having stronger star bases would probably be for the best. And maybe I should read that. As space traffic increases, larger and more defensible star bases are needed to maintain control over system space lanes. Starhold. Upgrading the starport. Star, star holds can house two more buildings and support four modules. Nice. And xenobiology. Studying the life that arises on other worlds and beyond allows us to understand fundamental aspects of biology that were previously beyond our reach. And for Interstellar Fleet Traditions for the Fleet Academy, for our newly recruited crews to be able to be truly combat ready, they must have capable officers leading them. The Fleet Academy will ensure those officers have up-to-date knowledge on the doctrines and practice of interstellar warfare. Beautiful. And Naval Logistics Office. A minimal but extant bureaucratic layer increases the theoretical capacity of the Starbase's anchorages. Which is always very nice. Always, always very nice. My eye is acting up something fierce. Give me a second, folks. Boy, oh boy. Gotta love the eye deciding it wants to be itchy. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Anyway. Away we go. And we continue onward. System reconnaissance completed. Nice. Good to hear. Good job. Oh, that also means that the ship is done doing stuff. Um, hmm. No orders. You know what? Let's have you go to Dawnlight and assist research there. There we go. That's a way to spend your time. I think it's a good way to spend your time. Science ship reports enemy contact. <sighs> You're kidding me, right? It went right through. I want to be very clear. This bug is annoying. This is a bug that should have been solved, and was solved last I knew a while ago, but it seems to keep wanting to come back. I am so annoyed right now. And because it's a bug, I feel it is justifiable to tread back make sure that problem doesn't happen again. Also, apparently, we developed a <laughs> new slot on Felon Day, and I just didn't know. So, with that in mind, let's put up an energy grid. That would help with credits. That'd help very nicely with credits. And... Aha! There is where the problem starts. Alright, there's that. Move here. And then... Move here. And there we go. Then it avoids the whole problem. Why the ship wants to go through the Leviathan? I don't understand it. It shouldn't be a thing. It sh at all. And yet it seems to keep happening. I don't understand it. 
Developers, help me out here. Could we please fix this bug once and for all? Please, I beg of you. <sighs> anyway. This is just a normal... Tianki? Yep, it's Tiankis. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. Okay. Construction just complete. One little unit over our administrative capacity. Should be fine. Should be fine for now. Actually, you know what? Let's build mining station there. And then move on to the next one. Right here. And do that. They are building this one here. And then they are doing the mining station there. And then going right back to Kerbal. Maybe. Nope. Looks like it's going to go towards the en Engetinar. Engetinar. Instead. Which is fine. Construction which is fine. complete. And they're done here. Beautiful. Which means I can have them do the mining stations there. And then go back to Ian after it's done. Worked out beautifully. And... Construction complete. Yep. That's all good. Through hard work and experience, Ren, Governor Ren Yamazaki has developed new skills. Now has the resilient trait. That means they'll live longer. That's always nice. Sutherian entity made peace with the Yeon Alliance. And the Yeon Alliance took systems away from the Sutherian entity. Look at you guys go. Great job. Fucking great job. Gotta clap for that. Gotta clap. Alright. Gotta clap for our allies doing the good shit. Alright. And they've now entered a defensive pact with the Yeon Alliance and Earth. Beautiful. Special project complete. Oh. A whoa, 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 whoa. A whoa, 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 whoa. Special project complete. Science officer The Exile has returned from the expedition that studied the rich biosphere in the seas beneath the ice mantle of Polkor 5. Several large species native to the lower regions of the global sea have been found to produce a unique inorganic molecule with immense healing properties. If this molecule is successfully harvested in large enough quantities, it could revolutionize the field of medical science and may even have industrial applications. Adding a living metal. Beautiful. Another addition Anomaly found. of living metal. All right. The atmospheric patterns of Dermius 7 are highly atypical for a gas giant of modest size. Interesting. Beautiful. Pulkor 3. It's a guy world of small size. But still, it's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, yeah. Special project complete. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> we have tried everything in order to find out how the ceramic pot ended up in a stellar orbit. Maybe we are all crazy. Maybe it does not even exist. Guess what? We tried calculating around those facts as well. We are done. There is nothing more we can do here. The only plus side to this is that we had tons of time to spend on philosophical and economical questions when we could not stomach to keep investigating that damned thing. Why? 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 Embrace the futility of life's questions. Influence gained 150, which is why it's always okay to go after this special project. Because you get something good. 
every time. And now we have traditions available. Nice. Harmony. Where should we put it? Leader lifespan. Uh. Oh, we already have that. So, uh, it would be either kinship or the greater good. Uh. This would be nice. So let's go after the greater good. Our entire population takes comfort in the knowledge that they are working together for the greater good. Each one a small but important part of a vastly larger whole. Governing. Ethics attraction increased by 25%. Hell yeah. Gotta love that. And there we go. And there's an anomaly, which I think I'm already looking into. Yes, I am. Good. Oh! All of my... S <laughs> all of my other things are done. I just noticed this now. Well then. Uh... Hmm. Interesting. Let's go do that. And then have them... Go do this instead. We'll just finish up this section of the galaxy here. And then we can say so much of it has been explored that we do not need to worry about anything else. Construction complete. Ooh. That's done. Beautiful. All right. Then he can go back. No problems there. Construction complete. Ooh. And construction there is completed. Nice. And then you can go to there and build the star base there. Oh. Oh. Dermia 7 was not a gas giant. What we had assumed was an abnormally small gas giant is, in fact, not. Beneath a deceptive cover of thick dust swirling in the upper atmosphere lies a regular planet. A barren planet, but a planet nonetheless. This has proven quite embarrassing to the astronomical community on Felon Day. I bet, considering. And scientist Muhammad Kadem has developed new skills, has developed the meticulous train. Nice. Always very nice. Oh, the nomistic order has come through. Okay, follow the current of cosmic energy credits, felons, and it will take you to the truth. There is no better product than that which carries the holy seal of Numa. Okay, show us your wares. Show us your wares, uh, if I can talk. What the what? Um... What is that purple thing? I don't know what that purple thing is. Are those relics? Are those a relic thing? Is that what that is? I don't know. What is the purple? What is the purple? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Artifacts. So yeah, it is relics. Or something like that. Okay. By the guiding hand of Numa, we have come across these ancient artifacts, which have been very inspiring for our meditations. The thought of parting with them, of course, pains us, but we feel that you felons could learn much by studying them. We are in need of some advanced materials, so perhaps a deal could be made. As always, if you need time to consider, we can notify you before we depart your territory giving you one more chance to accept the goddess's generous offer. Sure, why not? Blessings upon you, felons, for your business brings us closer to the goddess. Yeah, about that. Okay, well, now we have that. Uh, for reasons. Um... Where, where do I go to actually look at that is the question I have in my brain. And I cannot seem to answer it. 
uh, relics, no. Artifacts, technically. Uh, how do I look at that measure of thing? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. How do I look at that thing? I don't know how to look at the thing. Tell me how to look at the thing. I don't know. I don't know. Anomaly found. Ooh. Dermius 4's toxic biosphere gives the planet a very unique color scheme. Look into it. Might learn something from it. Also, I don't know how to look for that thing, so I'll just give up for right now. But, this is the end of the episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat, playing games and, of course, trying to expand our uh, <laughs> empire into the directions that we have available to us. But we occasionally keep running into the problem of our people trying to run through surveyed, well, unsurveyed systems that have already killed uh, other scientists, which is why I'm very confused that they keep wanting to go through them. But uh, trying to make sure we also get our hands on some, you know, decent systems. We're going to work on that. We're going to get there eventually, but uh, it'll take a while, as it usually does. For you.